I'm Robert Wilson. I won the 1978 Nobel Prize in Physics for discovering cosmic microwave background radiation, which is radiation left over from the Big Bang. I went to Bell Labs in 1963, and one of the things we wanted to do was to make a measurement of the minimum brightness of the sky, and that went horribly wrong. We kept making measurements and kept seeing the same extra uh, radiation. But we were scratching our heads trying to understand where it might come from. Well, we worried about a pair of pigeons that were living in the antenna, and they had dropped pigeon droppings all over the inside. And what we did was to get a have a heart trap. Pigeons went in, trap closed, we took the pigeons, put them in a box, mailed them as far away as we could in the company mail to a guy who fancied pigeons. And he looked at them and said, these are junk pigeons, and let them go. And before long, they were right back. We had ruled out man-made radiation. And I don't remember what else, but any other imperfections we might have been able to think of. And we were really running out of ideas when we heard about uh, the idea of radiation left over from the Big Bang. I think if I just push. What you're hearing now is a recording that I made in, I don't know, several years later. But <clears throat> a fraction, like 15% of this noise, comes from the cosmic microwave background radiation. Our understanding is that uh, the universe was created in a very compact way, and it has been expanding ever since. The beautiful baobab tree, or tree of life, is an African icon. The baobab fruit contains four times the potassium of banana, three times the vitamin C of an orange, and twice the calcium of spinach. But the baobab is an orphan. Science has paid little attention to this tree until now. The African Orphan Crops Consortium is harnessing the power of genetics for orphan crops. The baobab tree is the first of 101 plants to have its genome sequenced, assembled, and annotated. And the information will be made available to all unrestricted. Where millions of people are malnourished, this genetic data will help farmers provide the food they need. The genomes will guide African plant breeders so they can create crops that are higher yielding, water and nutrient use efficient, resilient to climate change, and full of nutrition triggering a huge leap forward for the diversity and sustainability of the continent's agriculture. <laughs>